watching on the Sky Sports News YouTube channel and a good morning to Emma Payton, Mark McAdam and to Dave Reed as well. We're expecting a very exciting and busy day, Mark. It's supposed to be about your 100th deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, Tom, um, and the makeup is very good, yes. No, I was trying to work it out, actually. I think it's my 24th deadline day. I miss one uh, about... Uh... Yeah, it does have the feeling that this is going to be a special one today as well. We're going to start with Tottenham. Get in touch. Hashtag transfer talk on Twitter, Tottenham fans. It's a window that didn't bring much joy to the Tottenham fans at the start, but things are starting to look a little bit more positive after missing out on two targets. They focused elsewhere, and it looks like there will be two incomings, Emma. Who are they? It's interesting, isn't it? Because on Friday, we were sitting here talking on Good Morning Transfers and Spurs fans, they were so <laughs> frustrated, devastated, some of them, uh, missing out, like you said, on two targets. One, Adama Traore, who's ultimately gone to Barcelona. The other, Luis Diaz, who's a little bit closer to home, gone to Liverpool here in the Premier League. But here we are, Monday morning, under 16 hours. Um, well, managing director at Spurs, Fabio Paratici, actually knows pretty well because he signed in for Juventus from Atalanta uh, back in 2020. So the Uruguayan midfielder will do his medical remotely in Uruguay. That's because he's with his national team at the moment, preparing to face Venezuela. Bring in our first guest of the day. It's Ricky Sachs from the Last Word on Spurs podcast. Ricky, good morning to you. Great to have you with us on Deadline. United, what could happen today? I think largely it will probably surround outgoings today. Donny van der Beek, we know, is on the hinge of joining Everton on loan for the rest of the season. Bordeaux reportedly interested in Phil Jones. He is, of course, the longest serving player in United's first team squad, along with David De Gea, but his career has kind of been derailed due to injuries in recent years. We've been talking a lot about Jesse Lingard throughout the window. Now it looks like he will be staying at Manchester United until his contract is up in the summer. Anthony Martial, we know, is left on loan to Sevilla. And as we understand it, Paul Pogba at the moment is focusing on getting back to the team, getting fit properly, and he'll make a decision about his future come the summer. About spinning plates. Plates have been in the air. I think that's the end of it. I think that's the end of it. <laughs> well, well, loads of people. <laughs> on, on Traore, loads of top have got the manager that they are happy with. They just want the manager, speaking to Ricky there, to be able to have a team. Uh, Robert Lewandowski scored more goals across Europe's top league. So, Vlahovic is my pick. <laughs>